Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and this is Becca. And today we're going to build classroom compost bins. You're going to need one two liter bottle, one pair of scissors, a sheet of aluminum foil big enough to place over the top of the two liter, one large rubber band, soil in a bin or in a bag, one cup to scoop the soil, food waste, one spoon to scoop the food waste and stir the compost, one pencil with a sharp tip, newspapers, and one spray bottle of water. Start by placing newspapers on your table because this can be a messy activity. Now use your scissors to cut your two liter bottle in half. Cut it right where the narrow top part meets the wider middle part. Recycle the top part of the two liter. We won't need it. Now use the cup to scoop a bit of soil into the bottom half of the two liter. Use the spoon to scoop a bit of food waste on top of the soil in the two liter. Now spray the compost with water from the spray bottle until it's moist like potting soil. We don't want our compost too wet. If it's too wet, it might not break down properly and start smelling bad. If your compost is too wet, add more soil or some shredded newspapers, paper towels, or napkins. If your compost is too dry, spray it with some more water. We want our compost to be moist like potting soil, but not muddy. Now let's stir up our compost. Do you remember learning that landfills are anaerobic environments without oxygen because we cover them with soil? Yeah. Landfills cover their trash with soil to prevent bad smells, but it doesn't allow oxygen in to help break down the trash. So there are mostly bacteria that don't need oxygen in the landfill, and when they eat food waste, they release a greenhouse gas called methane. Now a big difference between a compost bin and a landfill is that we stir compost but do not stir landfills. Stirring the compost lets oxygen into the food waste, so bacteria that breathe oxygen can live in the compost and break down the food waste without releasing methane. Compost bins should not smell bad or produce methane because we stir it to let oxygen in. We are also only composting fruit and vegetable waste. Meat, dairy, cooked food, or greasy processed foods are not allowed in the compost bin because they stink when they break down or decompose and aren't good for compost. Of course, only biodegradable things can be composted, so no plastic or candy wrappers either. Now take your aluminum foil and place it over the top of your compost bin. Use a rubber band to attach it to the two liter. Sometimes this is easier with a friend. <laughs> Use your pencil to poke a few holes in the aluminum foil to let oxygen in at all times. But really tiny holes so flies aren't attracted to your compost. If you built many landfills before, you can use your mini landfill to build a compost bin. Find that video on the Nature of Teaching website. Well, that's our classroom compost bin. We hope you learned a lot. Just to recap, compost bins are super simple to make. Make sure to stir your compost often to let oxygen in, because oxygen in the compost prevents methane from being produced. Only compost raw fruit and vegetable scraps. Less is best with food waste. Have fun building your own compost bins. You can check out our other videos on building mini landfills and reducing food waste through food prep on the Nature of Teaching website at purdue.edu nature. Bye!